One of the most useful tricks when working with animations on the web is will change. If you animate an element, the element will be rendered onto a separate layer for the duration of the animation. But sometimes you want that layer to stick around because you know that you're going to start animating the element again very soon. That is what will change is for. Semantically, will change tells the browser that certain CSS properties of an element are very likely to change. So if you set will change transform on an element, you are telling the browser that the transform property will change. See? Most browsers react to this by putting an element onto its own layer, as you can see if you enable layer borders in DevTools. So whenever you run into a janky animation on the web, it's worth remembering to only animate transform and opacity and to set will change. See you next time. Have you heard about async await, function hoisting, CSS grid, or maybe even for await loops? If not, I have covered them all in microtips in the past. They're still up on this channel. You can go and watch them. And while you're at it, subscribe.